everyone welcome to another youtube video today i'm going to be sharing my review on the simply nam blush the sponge lipsticks and mascara so simply nam is a brand by namrata soni who's a very 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 famous makeup artist in india these were very kindly sent to me i've gotten a chance to use all of this having said that this is a not a sponsored video and i'm not getting anything to talk about these if you want to know my thoughts on it and also a few uh, lipstick swatches then please keep on watching first of all i love the packaging of the products they're very simple minimal and simple and just no fuss i'm going to be leaving timestamps for you so if you want to um jump to a certain product then you can definitely do that but please watch the whole video but if you want you can watch the whole video first let's start by talking about this blush which is i think my favorite new found blush so this is a simply nam velvet cream magic blush the shade that i have is sister from sister from another mister and it's a salmon pink shade if you get the reference if you get the reference you mean your pink shirt <laughs> faded salmon color no I, i haven't seen your pink shirt and this is how the packaging looks like it is very simple again very minimal you you get the shade name at the back um expiry date the price um and everything else um so this is a very as a name says is a very um nice it has a very nice velvet kind of a finish um it is buildable and gives a very nice velvet smooth finish on the skin it's super super creamy the consistency of this is super super creamy it blends so beautifully talk about this blender also which is also from simply nam and it's the vive velvet microfiber sponge first of all i have never used uh, a microfiber sponge um which i feel is a little bit different than the uh, normal uh, beauty blender that we get this is more this has a very velvety finish and it's very like marshmallow kind of it's almost like a marshmallow sponge and you get to see very few of these in the indian market now the combination of this two is so beautiful this blends the blush so beautifully it looks very very natural this blush with a brush okay? it blends with the brush as well but this one gives a little bit of a more it leaves a little bit of a more pigment than this one this blends the blush more naturally and this one you'll get a little bit more pigment but it blends beautifully with both and this particular shade i feel like it's going to look suit light to medium skin tone they obviously have so many shades to choose from and i love the shades that they have you will find something for your skin tone and i always always wanted a cream blush in this kind of packaging you know we get the stick one i really wanted a blush from the indian market to come out in this packaging you know it's just so convenient it's very very travel friendly it's compact i just i think this is the blush that i really really like was the mascara so this is the simply nam i think clear i don't remember the exact name but um what's written over here is the instant lifting and lengthening mascara and i agree with it 100% it's a very lifting and a very lengthening mascara um it gives a little bit of volume but it's more on the lengthening and an instant lifting and i love that about this um, it gives that kind of volume which is not clumping you know some mascaras that are extremely voluminizing feel like they really clump the lashes and i think the most unique unique thing about this mascara is the wand and i'm going to show you how it looks like this is the wand okay it is it literally has no bristles it close to having no bristles it's very very tiny in short and it's like a comb so i've never seen a mascara that has this and i was blown away by how easy the application is you can literally reach the corners the ends the lower lash and it's so easy to use this it almost feels like you're combing your lashes but <clears throat> also using a mascara and they separate the lashes so beautifully as you can see um for this mascara i have to say i have used tons of mascaras and i feel like i'm not blown away or i'm not it's not extraordinary you know like i have not found an extraordinary mascara that i can defer that okay this is a uh, really better than this one I haven't had the chance to do that in a really long time that I can differentiate between two mascaras because I feel like mascaras on my lashes do the exact same thing. Um, there is uh, at least there is not much difference, but this mascara may really made that difference to my lashes. It's easy to use. Um, it's very very lending. Just the kind of mascara I like, you know. So if you like that kind of mascara, mascaras, you're gonna really like it. And also, 
even though if it says waterproof it gets you can get rid of this very easily with a oil based cleanser so everything about this mascara is really really great and i have been really liking it so far the only one problem that i feel is the price range is extremely expensive i feel like it's a little too pricey for a mascara if you keep that aside this is a like a great great like a fabulous mascara i used this mascara with uh, along with an eyelash curler i always use an eyelash curler i think that's the that's one of the most important but but very ignored part it gave me even better results so i don't know how it's going to work if you don't curl your lashes but if you curl your lashes and use this let's talk about lipsticks and only lipsticks now i have um three lipsticks from them um i have two of their comfort wear matte lipsticks i have the shade priyanka which is a peach pink also the shade names are like so nice they've named they've been named after like indian women love it i'm like all up for it next is dolly which is a dusty pink now dolly is a shade that i have on my lips right now and the other i have their hydrating lip butter and the shade that i have is rani which is a cinnamon pink so i think out of all the three one three shades dolly has to be my favorite shade okay it's a very dusty pink shade which will with little hints of mauve in it but it's a dusty pink shade and i think they have done like full justice because i feel like when they name when certain brands name their lipstick most of the times it's very misleading like they name a shade different and the actual shade is very different so i feel like this is very very on point the the way they have named all the shades and they've given the shade descriptions as well which is really really good i appreciate it i'm going to talk you through uh, about each and every lipstick so first let's talk about the hydrating lip butter 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 now this particular lipstick i had very high expectations from and i was the most excited about this because i really because i really, really like hydrating lip butters and lip glosses over liquid lipsticks right so they are very unique shades the shades are very very beautiful at least all the shades that i have used are very beautiful pink okay which is a little bit bright but it's also very subtle you know it's not too bright that you cannot wear it um, i think it will look very beautiful on fair skin tone the formula of this i feel like is not very much of a hydrating lip butter like the name that says lip butter i feel like when i use this it's obviously i think it glides very very smoothly all of these lipsticks glide very smoothly on the lips you do not have to worry a thing about that no tugging there is no pulling you don't have to go over it over and again it's but I, what i felt about the formula of this particular hydrating lip butter is i feel like it's less of a hydrating lip butter and more of a powder finish so when i hear hydrating lip butter i want it to have a little bit of shine to it a little bit of moisture to it um if not like a very high shine i do want to to feel moisturizing liquid lipstick ka samajh aata hai like i know how they are but lip butter when you say hydrating lip butter i i want all of those things in a lipstick especially when it's priced like at 12.99 or 13.99 i think it's for 1300 i feel like that defeats the purpose of this being a hydrating lip butter that's the only thing i felt about this these lip butters they transfer they have like very minimal transfer okay they are not completely transfer proof but they have very little like this much of uh, transfer talk about their comfort wear matte lipstick now this does exactly what it says it's a very comfortable lightweight pigmented lipstick okay and it does not transfer it's completely transfer proof lip butters and liquid lips i felt no difference initially when you applied okay it's uh, both of them glide extremely smoothly on the lip these are lipsticks that have cream consistency but gives a matte finish the shade that i have right now is dolly which is my favorite shade i like itni baar boli di but pretty pink mauve shade um it's one of the most beautiful pink shades i've ever used lightweight definitely comfortable smooth less smooth glides very very smoothly okay so these liquid lipsticks are pretty 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 good but i feel like you can find um cheaper less expensive lipsticks with a similar kind of formulation because these are, i think the i feel like the price of these lipsticks are extremely high i think they are for 1300 which i feel is a too much to pay for a lipstick okay 
are a little bit on the expensive side okay and i know people who do not mind spending that much on a lipstick if you are one of them then sure go ahead my job is to tell you how the products are to put your money on it to go ahead and buy them is completely on you okay the other shade i have is priyanka which is a peach pink shade i believe this is one of their most famous shades that they have it's a peach pink which i feel like a lot of people will like um it is more on the peachy side more than pink it does have a little bit hints of pink but it's more on the peachy so yeah i think that is about these lipsticks that is all about my review on these products i did not talk too much about the blender because i do need uh, some more time to figure out and form an opinion about it because i do not want to judge a product so quickly because i have um honestly just used it for blush application which i really liked i have not used it for foundation concealer so i need to do that and then i'll let you know that is it for today's video uh, thank you so very much for watching all of the products if you want to check out any of these I'm going to leave in the description box below and yeah that's it thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for the love on the last vlog i'm so so grateful and that's it i will see you very soon with another video bye